One of the problems with buying a 46 year old house and property is invariably there's going to be some maintenance to do. House looks pretty good from, from a distance, but there's a bit of wood rot, leaking gutters in spots. Nothing major, nothing I can't fix. But one thing did need some effort was it's got a bit of a septic problem. Uh, and a stormwater problem. Stormwater is easy, septic not so easy. Don't be shocked by the red colouring. I've been using food dye to diagnose where things come from and where things go. We had a bit of a leakage down here and the septic tank is up behind the shed so this should be a transpiration pit or evaporation pit or whatever you want to call it whatever it was in 1975 so that's one problem the other problem is and you can see a piece of it there it's all earthenware pipe now the problem with earthenware is that it cracks if something drives over it or probably worse where it connects to other earthenware pipe this bit which is probably what's failed is has a rubber o-ring in it and tree roots love to get into there to get to the nutrients so this earthenware pipe runs up here right where i want to put my driveway to get out the back to the shed which i thought i would be well underway with with the excavator now and as you can see i've had to do some excavating and the problem has been the septic tank standpipe's new I've just put that in myself this was buried underground and didn't know where it was so had to do some exploratory digging so there's a toilet uh, in the ensuite there comes out to here and the pipe heads this direction so we're digging we will enter we digging we will go uh -huh, a junction pipe goes that way up to the back of the house where the other two toilets are and run into it more exploratory digging more exploratory digging cracked pipe not good and here's the tank 1975 horizontal tank no idea what size it is I probably could work that out by measuring it dug around it there's the access manhole had the poo pumper in and pumped out about mm, he thinks about eight to ten years worth of uh, poop so it hasn't been done for a long time and as you can see that manhole cover is about two feet 50 centimeters below ground so need to make a pit with a quarter plate steel cover on it to make poo pumping much easier next time replace all of the earthenware pipe as much as I can anyway certainly not going to do it up underneath the uh, the pavers up there earthenware is pretty protected under the pavers so wherever it comes out here to that junction point I guess the good thing is my shed's going right where the clothesline is a few Americans that's a hills hoist we invented that awesome things not so great in Tassie as you can see by the weather but my shed is going to have a toilet and shower on that corner so I can bring the sewer straight down put a junction into here and straight into the tank now the next problem is this is the edge of my tank here so to give you some reference there's my garage and my driveway's coming up here don't want to drive over the top of the tank that would be preferable but we have a distribution pit here and purpose of a distribution pit is to send the liquid from the septic tank off to a transpiration pit that way and the one that's leaking down the bottom down there this one's good 
but I do need to move this pit. So again, because it's all earthenware, I'm going to dig down, remove all the earthenware from here, move this pit out to yeah, probably about here, which then gives me a nice three and a half meter, I can build this up, three and a half, four meter wide bit, run the driveway up there to the shed. Run new PVC pipe instead of earthenware down to the other, to the new transpiration pit, which is going to be an evaporation pit. And so, yeah, I've been busy. Sorry, I haven't recorded much. I will endeavor to set the camera up on a tripod and do a bit more filming, especially when I'm excavating, etc. Uh, this was a pool. Although not a pool as you'd know it, an above ground pool. And that was taken away before we bought the property. And all of this excavation I believe is over in that pile over there. So hopefully there's enough there for me to fill in this hole and be able to run my driveway up here. Away from everything, maintaining it. So as you can see, I've been bloody busy. Uh, the weather is very changeable at the moment. I am in short sleeve and t-shirt, which uh, in Tassie is pretty good. The temperature is actually not bad at all, but the weather is really changeable at the moment. The uh, rain storms are coming and going, and uh, yeah, it's a bit frustrating. Oh, I'll take you up and show you where the shed's going to go. All right, following up where my driveway is going to go. Sorry, pine tree, you're going to have to go. The hill's hoist's got to be moved. That's okay, they're robust. Dig that out. This is going to be the front corner of my shed here. So I'm standing on the front corner of my shed, looking down to where the driveway's going to come up here. Back of the house, nice big turning pad area. Boss isn't very happy about losing so much grass, but eh, she'll get over it. Obviously these raised veggie gardens will have to be moved and they're going over there with some new ones. Uh, I'll walk over to the other corner of the shed, approximately. Bye bye Hills Hoist. It's only going over there. Right, so now I'm standing on the other corner of the shed. Again, looking back to where the driveway is coming up. The other corner of the shed, I don't know whether you can pick out the paint, is just there in front of the table. So that's 12 meters wide and then 14 meters back which means that beloved fruit tree which we believe is apple it's got to come out got to move it boss says move it don't let it die yes boss so it's going to go up up the hill a bit further boss has got a nice little pottery shed over there that'll stay there might get a lick of paint or something. I don't know, haven't decided yet. We've got some absolutely beautiful plants here though. This is an apple tree, I believe. This is a, another tree, I believe. Also apple, I think. Uh, this is also an apple. I got no idea. I got nothing. Trees, meh. Uh, we have planted a couple of more fruit trees. We've got a uh, mandarin and lemon up in the back corner. This is just a pile of, I think there's some logs in there. So again, I'll be clearing that out with the, uh, with the digger. And pretty soon when you look this way, all you're gonna see is shed. Oh yeah. Okay, a bit different perspective. This is the uh, sort of the round driveway in front of the house. The garage just there. I want a wood raffle. Awesome. 2.3 cubic meters for five bucks. Pretty happy with that. Uh, it's got pretty crappy bitumen etc which is cracked and a bit uneven in spots. That'll stay there for the time being. What I am doing a fair bit of work on and started on is the driveway. Now the big problem with the driveway, it's a bit hard to tell on the camera but it slopes, ground slopes from this way down to the front left corner there. So some water, and it is quite clay underneath the topsoil here, some water has got underneath the driveway and 
sort of popped it up. And of course it's worse down the bottom, closer to the road. So we've had the little digger working away, flattening, scraping. What follows is a brief construction montage. End of flashback. Dug a little trench. This is going to be a spoon drain that's going to run down to the road there, redirecting the water out to the, the drain on the side of the road. And, uh, and this will, I'll widen this out a little bit, out to about three and a half metres. As you can see, it's very lumpy and moist here. So there's a bit of work here to do. You can also see groundwater coming out here. So need to redirect that, cut a little bit out of this bank, send it in, into the drain there. And then the fence is going to go through here. Uh, we're going to have a dual opening electric gate up the driveway. And the fence will run along. Have to do a bit of tree removal along here. The fence is going to run along just a uh, post and rail fence. But really I need to get this bottom section sorted. Because as you can see, there's a bit of groundwater underneath there and of course bringing cement trucks in etc to do the shed needs to be all nice and solid yeah so the biggest problem is this is you know even up here it's already about 40 50 centimeters higher than the than the road base so I need to dig a nice spoon drain in there and redirect the water down to the drain at the front. This is all pretty stable and solid still, so it'll do for the time being, but eventually I'll rip all this up and put in road base. I'd love to have bitumen, but hugely expensive in Australia for bitumen. And the other big thing I'm doing, which I've already started, is the original driveway comes up here and is designed so that you drive around the front of the house and then come around in a circuit back here. That's not real good for big trucks. So I'm gonna have a straight shot, new driveway is gonna run across here, fill in all of this low spot here, and then around where you can see the bitumen there that goes up to the garage. The driveway will be to the right of that. And then, as I showed you earlier, the driveway will run around the back of the shed. So that's our progress so far. As you can see, there is rain coming. So I'm dodging showers at the moment. Oh, the little mini digger's awesome too. There was a stump here, dug that out. There was a stump there where that new tree is, dug that out. Eventually I'll dig those ones out as well. And there was another one up here that I dug out. Flashback. End of flashback. So a lot of work to do. Oh. Stormwater. Haven't talked about stormwater yet. So stormwater is my other minor issue. We've got another cracked earthenware pipe here. Again, don't be alarmed by the colour. I used green food dye for stormwater. And we've got a cracked pipe which is keeping all of this area very, very wet. So, at the moment, I'm just going to dig this up, fix that because it's, you can actually see there's the old rubber seal. Probably a tree root got into it, pulled it out, and so this just flows out when it's raining. I don't actually know where the stormwater goes from here. It certainly doesn't go all the way down to the, to the road, but uh, yeah, we'll find it. Fix this, 
that's one issue. Se septic sewer is the bigger issue. And we'll get there. Cute little garage and a bit weird at the front, I know, the uh, flashing on the right hand side. That was to fit the digger in there. The excavator wouldn't fit in without doing that. So I'll fix that later on when the excavator's got a proper home. So that's a tour of our property and where we're at. So that's a quick look at our little project property. Really enjoying getting into it and uh, it's going to be great fun doing this in retirement. Can't wait to get my shed built. That's the next big project. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you again on the next episode.